Welcome to another exciting episode of our YouTube channel, where we explore the world of birds with unique features. These birds have evolved some of the most unique and impressive beaks in the animal kingdom. From the mighty toucan to the petite hummingbird, birds come in, and we're excited to share them with you. So, let's get started. First, let's talk about the long-billed coral, it is a large, distinctive shorebird found in North America. Its most notable feature is its long, curved bill, which is used to probe the mud for insects, crustaceans, and other small creatures. The long-billed curlew is a migratory bird, spending its summers breeding in the grasslands and prairies of western North America, and its winters along the coasts of the southern United States, Mexico, and Central America. The long-billed curlew is a beautiful bird, with a mottled brown and white plumage that helps it blend into its grassland habitat. Its long bill is also a defining characteristic. The Atlantic Puffin is a colorful and charismatic seabird that is instantly recognizable by its distinctive beak. Found in the North Atlantic, from the coasts of North America to the northern reaches of Europe, the Atlantic Puffin is a master of the sea, diving for fish and crustaceans with ease. One of the most striking features of the Atlantic Puffin is its beak, which is large, triangular, and brightly colored. During the breeding season, both males and females develop a bright orange, yellow, and blue beak, which they use to attract mates and establish their territory. Atlantic puffins breed in large colonies on rocky offshore islands, where they nest in burrows or crevices. Females lay a single egg, which is incubated for about 40 days. Once hatched, the chick is fed by both parents, who take turns foraging for food and bringing it back to the nest. The rhinoceros hornbill is a large and impressive bird found in Southeast Asia, specifically in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. As its name suggests, the rhinoceros hornbill has a large cask or horn-like structure on its bill, which is used for a variety of purposes. One of the most interesting things about the rhinoceros hornbill is the role that its cask plays in courtship and mating. Male rhinoceros hornbills have a large, brightly colored cask, which they use to attract mates and establish their territory. The cask is also used to amplify the bird's calls, which can be heard over long distances. Rhinoceros hornbills are also known for their unique nesting habits. They typically nest in hollow trees, where the female seals herself inside the cavity using a mixture of mud, fruit pulp, and feces. The male then brings her food through a small opening in the tree, which is just large enough to pass the food through. The crested koa is a striking bird that is found only on the island of Madagascar. With its distinctive blue-green feathers, striking crest, and bright red eyes, the crested koa is a popular bird for birdwatchers and nature enthusiasts. One of the interesting things about the crested koa is its unique vocalizations. The bird is known for its loud, repetitive calls, which are used for communication and territorial displays. Male crested koas will often call out loudly to establish their territory and attract mates. The toko toucan is a large and colorful bird that is found in South America. With its distinctive black body, white throat, and oversized beak, the toko toucan is instantly recognizable. One of the most interesting things about the toko toucan is its beak. The beak is not only large, but it is also brightly colored, with a bold orange-yellow coloration. The beak is also surprisingly light, making up only a small fraction of the bird's total weight. The toko toucan is also known for its diet. The bird primarily eats fruit, but it will also eat insects and small animals if it can catch them. The bird's large beak is thought to be an adaptation that allows it to reach and pluck fruit from trees that other birds cannot reach. Another interesting fact about the toko toucan is that it is a cavity nester. This means that it nests in holes or cavities in trees, rather than building a nest from scratch. The female will lay her eggs in the cavity, and both parents will take turns incubating the eggs and caring for the chicks. While the toko toucan is not considered endangered, it is sometimes hunted for its beak and feathers, which are used in traditional medicine and for decorative purposes. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the bird and its habitat.
The black skimmer is a unique bird that is found in coastal areas of the Americas. With its distinctive black and white plumage and large, elongated lower mandible, the black skimmer is easily recognizable. One of the most interesting things about the black skimmer is its feeding behavior. The bird feeds by flying low over the water with its lower mandible open, using it to skim the surface of the water. The sword-billed hummingbird is a unique species of hummingbird that is found in the Andes Mountains of South America. It is one of the largest species of hummingbird, with a long, straight bill that is longer than its body. One of the most interesting things about the sword-billed hummingbird is its bill. The bird's bill is so long that it must tilt its head back in order to swallow nectar or insects. The shoebill stork, also known as the whale-headed stork, is a unique bird that is found in the wetlands of eastern Africa. With its large, flat bill and prehistoric appearance, the shoebill stork is often considered one of the world's most unusual birds. One of the most fascinating things about the shoebill stork is its feeding behavior. The American white pelican is a large bird that is found in North America. With its distinctively large bill, white plumage, and impressive wingspan, the American white pelican is a sight to behold. One of the most interesting things about the American white pelican is its feeding behavior. Unlike other species of pelicans, which dive for fish, the American white pelican feeds by dipping its large bill into the water to scoop up fish and other aquatic prey. It is often seen feeding in large groups, with several birds working together to corral fish. Another notable feature of the American white pelican is its impressive wingspan, which can reach up to 9 feet meters. The bird is able to soar for long periods of time, sometimes covering hundreds of miles in a single day. Despite its size, the American white pelican is surprisingly graceful in flight, with its white wings contrasting beautifully against the blue sky. It is a common sight in wetland areas throughout North America. The roseate spoonbill is a beautiful bird with a unique appearance that sets it apart from other wading birds. With its pink feathers, distinctive spoon-shaped bill, and striking eyes, the roseate spoonbill is a sight to behold. One of the most fascinating things about the roseate spoonbill is its feeding behavior. The bird uses its bill to sweep through shallow water, sifting through the mud to find small fish, crustaceans, and other aquatic prey. Its spoon-shaped bill is perfectly adapted to this feeding style, allowing it to scoop up prey with ease. The roseate spoonbill is also known for its nesting behavior. The bird builds its nest in trees or shrubs, often in large colonies with other spoonbills and wading birds. The nest is made of sticks and other vegetation and is usually located near water. Despite its beauty, the roseate spoonbill is threatened by habitat loss and degradation, as well as pollution and human disturbance. Conservation efforts are underway to protect this stunning bird and its wetland habitat.